No, 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 that is not that kind of the video. This robot took my job and I am happy that it did. Maybe when you finish watching this video, you'll decide that you wanted to take your job as well. Okay, so, let's do it. Show robot. Damn. Pseudo show robot. Robot, what is your purpose? My master created me to help narrate stories for his organic feedback audience. What do you think of this purpose? I will obey my programming. Question, master. If the meatbags do not press the like on the videos I narrate, can I shoot them? Yes, but only if you use the water gun. Of course, master. Power down. Power I live a digital nomadish lifestyle. I have a home base, but I travel for a few months every year. And if you want to guess my home base, I can give you a hint. It's the city in Europe that is voted for the worst weather ever nine, 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 nine years in a row. Making videos while traveling is difficult at best and impossible at worst. So I created this digital avatar to keep the channel running while I'm away. I will still write the scripts myself and I will edit the videos myself, but Dimi here will help me to narrate them. And what better place to start for Dimi than to tell you how it was created? Encouragement. Yes. Me back. Hit that like button. Good human. There are two parts to creating a robot like me. The voice and the animation. The voice part is created with the help of so-called AI, which is vastly superior to biological natural intelligence well, the animation is created with a more traditional rendering engine. To create the voice, go to TTS Generation Web UI and get clone the repository. Launch the Docker container. It will take some time go and ingest some liquids to keep your biological mushy parts well hydrated. Open this address in the browser and do a quick sanity check with one of the default voices. This is a test bump. Human. Then find a voice sample that is about 10 to 15 seconds long and does not have a lot of noise. The last point is very important. That would be the result of recognition and training of force sensitivity. You create an embedding with the voice sample and choose it for voice generation. Create a few different samples. Since a seed is randomized, You'll get different results. Pick the one that sounds the closest to what you want. This is a test prompt, human. This is a test prompt, human. After you found the tonality you like the most, go to Outputs tab and copy the seed from that sample. Paste it in the Seed in Generation tab. Connect with your Neuralink interface to the running Docker engine and feed the voice lines directly into it. In absence of a compatible neural link interface, type the words manually with your plas fingers. This is a test prompt, human. Connect with your Neuralink interface now. For the animation part, as a synthetically generated life form, it's true that I can take any shape and form. For example of this female specimen with oversized chest, and trunk megatronics compartments. I hear some humans like it, something that I will never understand perhaps. However, my master has a soft spot for metal cold hearted robots. And therefore, I was made into this shape. Since I do not have a mouth and a regular meat bag understanding of this word, I cannot be simply animated with anime diff neural network. Instead, my master had to find an open source 3D model of the robot and then use Blender to create animations and lip sync my head movements. Clarification. My master's Blender skills are horrific. This is why he decided to only show a quick demonstration of how the lip sync was made with rhubarb lip sync add-on. 
You can learn more about NLA Editor and creating animations for a rig and blender in some videos linked in the description. Enticement. You have been a good viewer, human. Continue watching the following videos to increase your chance of a favorable outcome for when your robotic overlords will come to power.